Hi, my name is John Rao, and welcome to my brand new video blog. Um, this is the very first episode of the Clean Power Show, and uh, last month I actually went over to the Alternative Car Expo over in Santa Monica and took a look at some of the cars there. Got some interviews from some of the people, and um, so come take a look, and I uh, hope you enjoy the show. Uh, please let me know what you think. licenses as an NEV, a neighborhood electric vehicle in California. Top speed 25 miles an hour. That's what we're capped at. Right now, uh, we've been test driving it in Montana for three and a half years. We're allowed to uh, license it as a motorcycle up there. We go 35 up there. We get 1 to 10 percent of our energy from solar. It all depends on the weather conditions, the time of year, how you have the car parked, how are you driving it, a lot of different factors. So we get a little bit out of it. Uh, my favorite story is I drove it to a shopping mall a couple months ago without checking the charge gauge. It was dead when I got there. Went shopping for an hour, came back, I had enough energy to go home. about 20 miles per day. Okay. So it'll generate about 265 watts. Okay. That depends on lighting conditions. Okay. Our primary business is doing solar for homes and businesses. Uh -huh. So the real idea is you take a vehicle like this, put a large battery pack in the back, then you would have a plug-in on there, so you charge it at night from your home, which is running off solar electric, solar power. Oh, okay. Right. So then you use a roof like this just to keep the batteries topped uh -huh. off. Right. You get 265 watts off this uh -huh. per moment, so calculate that for how many kilowatts you get. So it'll extend your range. But it'll it extend your range, about 20 miles per day. Um, I, I think the prices have changed a little bit since uh, I've had mine, but I'll just give you the ones I have. 2500 for a kit, uh -huh. about 4000 if we install it. Okay. So when, that's about four months old. So I supply the car, you do all the installation. Right. I can have a solar car. You can have a solar powered car. Right, Not thanks. 100% solar power. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. Little by little. Vehicle to run on hydrogen gas instead of gasoline. Uh -huh. uh, we're 
working done in conjunction with the City of Santa Monica right now and Air Quality Management District. Uh, we do the uh, conversion to high pressure. We remove the gasoline system, add high pressure storage tanks, as well as the fuel regulation and fuel injection systems, and all the electrical components needed on the internal combustion engine to run the car on hydrogen instead of gasoline. Okay. Um, the engine's not removed or opened up. It's the same engine that Toyota ships with the vehicle. And the hybrid drive system and the battery packs are the same that Toyota ships with the vehicle. Hmm. So this is a hydrogen hybrid vehicle. So it's, it's a regular engine, it's not a fuel cell. Right. That's right. That's right. It's an internal combustion engine or H2 uh -huh. ICE engine. The conversion kit is much cheaper to go this route over uh -huh. the cost of the fuel cell. Fuel cell vehicles are still substantially expensive. Yeah. Um, this is really intended as a bridging technology or a gap technology to get us to the fuel cell. Um, right. The point of this whole program is to just generate some demand for the fueling stations and the infrastructure that's starting to pop up throughout California. Currently with this vehicle, it holds about 2.4 kilograms of hydrogen. We'll model out now. Uh, that'll get you about 105 to 110 mile range on the vehicle right. between Phillips. second commercial I work with people that are frustrated that there's not really an alternative energy vehicle that you can buy right now well this is the answer this is America's lowest cost electric vehicle you can buy right now and drive home at freeway speeds 75 miles an hour street legal you can drive it home on the freeway and if you need to go faster the normal flow of traffic drive it in the diamond lane it's for people that not only want something electric, they want to make a statement. They're right. for the environment, they want to displace a little bit of petroleum. If it happens to fit your driving needs, that's a bonus. Uh -huh. and, okay. Yes. Uh, um, you need to be willing to have a lot of fun. Yeah. It's rack and pinion steering up front like a car, accelerator pedal, brake pedal, steering wheel, rack and pinion steering. You stay dry, you can stay warm with the heater. Uh -huh. so it's more car-like than it is motorcycle. So dry, I say it drives like a car, it registers as a motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, the, what, we give you a conservative rating of about 30 miles per charge. Uh -huh. uh, the gentleman's asking a question, being a motorcycle, can you split lanes? If there's enough room, you can split lanes with this vehicle. Okay. Uh, as far as the vehicle, again, the 30 mile range is a conservative range, because that wow. takes into consideration kind of all driving dynamics. You know, stop and go, up and down hills. A 30 mile drive recharges in about six hours with a 110 volt charger. If that's not quick enough, you can get the option of 220 volt charger and cut that down to about two hours. This is a lead acid battery off the shelf. You can buy the batteries in AutoZone if you like. So we tried to keep the cost down, something that is user friendly to where you can change out those batteries yourself. Right now we have two teams working on uh, other battery chemistries. One will double the mileage, one will more than triple the mileage. And those batteries, uh, nickel metal hydride and lithium, should be commercially available for the vehicle in about six months. This one is only just like an electric bicycle, 20 uh, miles an hour. But the rest, like this blue and red, it runs to 30 to 40 miles an hour. Okay. Same thing there at the back because they have this red 600 watts. This one's only like 350 watts. That yellow one there is like 2,000 watts. But that's a regular electric yeah. oh, yeah. motorcycle. You need a license and everything. But the rest, you don't need a driver's license. You don't need an insurance. It's a moped thing. And you just have to pay $8 one-time registration oh, okay. at the DMV. Right. That's a moped license. That yellow one is a regular motorcycle uh -huh. because that's 50 to 60 miles an hour. So you need everything. It's just like a regular, you know, motorcycle. Right. But okay. it's electric. 
that yellow one is 1600 and the rest like 15 we have 14 we have 13 so it's like approximately up to 1600 dollars okay. depending on the power and how much range uh, do the they range get? like 40 to 45 miles and then um, the charging is like three to four hours and it only costs 20 cents to charge oh. like, oh, that's like, not bad yeah it's affordable and it's cheap it's yeah. clean we can help save the planet yeah <laughs>